pulled me off the streets in my darkest hour. Raised me like I was one of his own. I needed a hero. And in my darkest hour, he was that hero. Thank you, Dazzler. You have defeated the criminal scum with your groovy moves. James McDazzle the third. What a man. From my understanding, though, he's no ordinary man. Dazzler wasn't born of a woman. No, no, no. He was actually birthed out of a tree stump. It's really weird, like, kind of like the Lorax. But less hair and uh, more Dazzle. He also was born as a small, middle-aged man-child, which is also pretty weird. Majestic, but weird. Yeah, it's true. He was born out of a tree stump. Really weird. I found him out there, all alone, and I decided to take him in as one of my own. As the years passed, he continually expressed his inner wish to dance the night away, which was super fruity. Of course, I wanted him to become a doctor, but no! He had to follow his dreams of becoming a goddamn dancing superhero for a living, which I might add brings zero income. I wish I left him on that stump where I found him. Lorax looking mother. He really likes waffles, and so do I. Thank you. Oh, me and the dads would go way back. We went to band camp together in high school. Him and I were actually dance partners for a while. We had an unbeatable flamenco number. That is, until he abandoned me for that tramp, Natasha! God, that was the single worst day of my life. From that point forward, I vowed that I would be totally evil all the time. And naturally, he vowed that he would use his groovy moves for good all the time. He easily became my nemesis. I like jazz, he liked disco. It just wasn't going to work. Oh my god, the Jazzler was the worst flamenco dancer this side of the planet. My god, Dazzy left me for good reason, he was horrible. The absolute worst, he stunk, he smelled like freaking avocado, it was disgusting. God, he was horrible. Uh, Jazzler called you uh, a tramp? Ca a what? A tramp. He called me a tramp, what? Oh, Dazzler wasn't just born with the ability to dance like he can today. He had to train. The sensei, none other than the Disco King, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He was a magical time player, and he worshipped The Rock like he was a god. One day, during a training accident, Dwayne pulled a hammy, was never able to dance again. Dazzler was crushed, but he knew he had to keep dancing in his master's honor. He took me under his wing as an apprentice, raised me like a son. Our near-death encounter with the Jazzler was only the beginning of our adventures as we went on to spread our groove all over the country. We fought the Metallica Menace. That was a fun one. And then there was the time we beat the hip-hop hitman with a totally groovy conga line. That was my personal favorite fight. Where is he now today? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Some say he's still out there, you know? Fighting criminal scum with his groovy moves. Me? I don't know. I haven't seen him since 09. It was uh, when we uh, fought the uh, Jackson 5, and uh, it was a bad loss. Uh, I haven't seen him since then.